家好，欢迎收看《三文英文二》，我是赖玄瑶。首先呢，我们先欢迎今天一起加入我们的外籍老师 Chris。Hello, Chris. Welcome to our program. Thank you. Nice It's nice to, to see you again. Thank you. Would you like to say hi to everybody? Hi. Hello. I'm Chris, and nice to, nice to be here. 好，那我们在这个礼拜呢，我们要看的是呃另外一篇的这个文章。那这篇的文章的这个 title 呢，这个主题呢是指 America and the struggle for jobs。所以呢，我们可以看一下这个 title。我想说，哎，这个跟美国还有他们的就业市场是有关系的。所以他说呢， America and the struggle。这个 struggle， 我想同学我们都已经看过好几次，就是奋斗或者是努力。所以就说美国的就业市场其实是比较低迷的。然后他现在呢，政府跟人民呢，就为了就业一起在。奋斗跟努力的意思，所以这是这篇的文章。那因为这个呃这个文章的 title， 那因为这篇文章呢基本上比较长一点点，所以呢我们就不会请 Chris 从头到尾帮我们念过去一遍。那我们就一段一段的请他念，然后我们就讲解每一段的内容。好，首先呢我们先请 Chris 帮我们念一下第一段的内容。Americans face different economic issues. Which one worries them most? A Pew Research Center Washington Post opinion poll asked a thousand people earlier this month. 43% said the job situation. About half as many said the federal budget deficit. Smaller numbers said rising prices and the financial and housing markets were their biggest economic worries. Three out of four people said additional spending on roads, bridges, and other public works would improve the job situation at least a little. Many said the same about cutting business taxes, the federal budget, and personal income taxes. But there are no clear agreement. There's there is no clear agreement about which ideas would do a lot to help. 好，我们先看一下这边的有几个单字跟片语。第一个单字是 opinion poll. Opinion poll 指的是民意调查的意思。在第二个 additional. Additional 这边是形容词，额外的。If your bag exceeds the weight and size requirement, the airplane agent Will ask you to pay an additional fee for overweight or oversized baggage. So he said, if your bag or your suitcase exceeds the weight and size requirement of the airline requirement, then the airplane agent, which is the airline agent, 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 the airline 或者是 oversized， 就是呢，比那个原本的尺寸过大的这个 bag baggage， 就是指行李的意思。那再我们往下看下面这个单字 public works， 这个 public works 指的是公共工程的意思。再来我们往下看 federal， 这个 federal 指的是联邦政府的。好，接下来我们看一下这个呃第一段的内容。他说呢 ，Americans face different economic issues。他说：“美国呢，美国人正面临着这个不同的这个经济的议题。那哪一个呢是他们最担心的呢？这个 A Pew Research Center Washington Post opinion poll asked a thousand people earlier this month。所以他说有一份皮尤网络呃研究中心华盛顿邮报的民意调查显示，那他访问了一千名的民众。那这个有四十三 percent 的人呢就说这个 job situation。”所以这个其实是他们美国人现在最关心的，就是说这个就业的情况。那大概呢，有一半的人说是这个 federal budget deficit， 大概有一半的人表示是这个联邦政府的预算赤字。那这个 deficit 这个我们都已经看过了。再往下看，他说呢，还有少部分的人会认为说这个 rising prices 就是呢物价上涨。还有就是呢 ，financial and housing markets were their biggest economic worries。还有呢，有的人会表示说，这个物价上涨，还有金融市场，还有这个房市呢，是他们最大的这个呃经济的议题的考量。Three out of four people said， 就是四个人里面有三个人呢，他们会认为说，这个 additional spending on roads, bridges, and other public works。四个人，四个人里面有三个人表示说，额外的这个在道路啊，或者是桥梁，还有其他公共工程的支出呢，会改善这个就业市场 ，at least a little， 至少会改善一点点。还有许多的人表示说 ，the same about cutting business taxes。这个 business taxes 指的就是营业税的意思。还有 the federal budget。就是我们刚刚讲的这个联邦政府的预算，还有这个 personal income tax。就是个人的这个所得税
。所以他说呢，还有许多人就说，呃，改善的话还可以怎样降低或者是删减营业税。还有就是说，这个呃，降低或者是删减这个联邦政府的预算，还有减少个人所得税，都会改善这些就业状况。那 But there was no clear agreement about which ideas would do a lot to help。但是都没有明确的一致认定显示说哪一项看法最有助于改善整体的就业状况。所以这是第一段的内容。好，接下来呢，我们看一下第二段的内容，也是让我们请 Chris 帮我们念一下第二段的内容。Last Thursday night. President Obama spoke to Congress to present his plan for job growth. His proposals include an extension of jobless benefits for workers who have been unemployed for extended periods. The plan also includes tax breaks for companies to hire more workers and and money for projects to fix roads and schools. 好，我们看一下这边有几个单词。来，这边第一个单词是 proposal. Proposal 指的是名词，提案跟计划。George's proposal for the new project was excellent. Ah,、uh, George's proposal for the new project was excellent. 他对这个新的这个 project 这个 proposal 提案跟计划是非常好的。再我们看第二个单词 extension. Extension 指的是名词，扩大或者是延长或者是延伸都可以。The company needs an extension of its loans to finish the research and development of its new products. 所以他说，这边的这个公司呢，需要啊、呃、延他的延长他的贷款的时间，以完成他们这个 the research and development， 就是研发。所以呢，他说，呃，需要比较长时间，延长那个贷款的时间，来完成他们这个研发新的产品。这个 research and development 就是指研发的意思。在最后一个单字是 benefit。Benefit 这边指名词的话，是指救济金或者是津贴，尤其是指我们在这一段内容要讲的这个情况下 ，Benefit 指的是救济金跟津贴。好，接下来我们看回来这段的内容。所以他说呢，在这个 Last Thursday night， 这个呃上周四的晚间呢，这个奥巴马总统呢，向 spoke to Congress to。Present his plan for job growth. So he said, Obama President is speaking to the Congress. He presented his plan to the Congress. He presented his plan to the Congress. His plan for job growth. He said, his proposals, his proposals, and his plans include an extension of jobless benefits for workers who have been Unemployed for extended periods. So he proposed an extension of benefits for workers who have been unemployed for extended periods. So he proposed an extension of benefits for workers who have been unemployed for extended periods. So he proposed an extension of benefits for workers who have been unemployed for extended periods. So he proposed an extension of benefits for workers who have been unemployed for extended periods. So he proposed an extension of benefits for workers who have been unemployed Who have been young unemployed for extended periods? This extended 指的就是长期的、持久的。所以他说，这些员工就是长期或者是持久一直没有工作的 unemployed. The plan also includes tax breaks for companies to hire more workers and money for projects to fix roads and schools. 那他的计划呢，还包含了他要减税这个 tax breaks。就是减税的意思。这个减税呢，是对 companies 对企业或者是对公司来讲，它要减税，借以让他们可以雇佣更多的员工或者是劳工。还有呢，它还有这个计划是 money for projects for to fix roads and schools。它还有提供一些金钱的补助，呃，道路修缮专案跟学校。所以这是第二段的内容。好，接下来呢，我们看一下，呃，我们先休息一下，等一下回来再继续往下看第三段的内容。好，我们继续往下看下一段的内容，也是一样。我们请 Chris 先帮我们念一下第三段的内容。The Labor Department counts about 14 million workers as unemployed. Millions more are working part-time as they try to find full-time employment. The so-called Great Recession officially lasted from December of 2007 to June of 2009. Unemployment was 5% at the start. It reached 10.1% in late 
。好，这边我们看到有两个单字，第一个单字是 the Great Recession。The Great Recession 指的是大衰退，其实就就是我们常常在讲的这个两千零八年的金融海啸，金融大海啸。再来第二个单字是 officially。Officially 这边是一个呃副词，官方的、正式的。The government officially announced a bailout program yesterday for small and medium businesses. 所以这个 bailout program 指的是纾困方案，这我们常常在新闻里面会听到。他说呢，这个政府呢，呃，正式的或者是官方的宣布了一个纾困，在昨天宣布了一个纾困的方案的计划 for small and medium businesses， 对的，小型中小企业。呃，宣布了这个计划。好，接下来我们看回来这段的内容。这段内容他说呢 ，The Labor Department counts about 14 million workers as unemployed。根据这个劳工部，美国劳工部的统计呢，跟他们的总计呢，大约呢有一千四百万名的劳工是失业的 ，unemployed。Millions more are working part time as they try to find full time employment。这个 employment 就是呢，受雇或者是找到工作的意思。所以，超过数百万的劳工呢，试图找到全职的工作。但是目前呢，他们还从事一些兼职的工作。所以呢， part time 跟 full time 就是一个是兼职，一个是全职。The so-called Great Recession， 基本上呢，这个我们称之为的这个。Great Recession 就是指我们讲的金融海啸呢。Officially 正式的是从呃，应该是 lasted 这个 last 是持续，从这个两千零七年的十二月一直持续到两千零九年的呃六月，所以基本上整个两千零八年都是包含在这个金融海啸里面。他说呢，在这个刚开始的时候 ，unemployment was。呃 ，five percent at the start， 基本上这个失业率呢，刚开始的时候，在金融海啸刚开始是五 percent， 可是到到了两千零九年的呃年底，就是结束的时候呢，它已经到达了百分之十点一，所以这是它指的是那个失业失业率的部分。好，接下来我们看一下第四段的内容，也是一样，我们请 Chris 来帮我们念一下第四段的内容。Don Peck is a writer and editor at the Atlantic Magazine. In his new book, Pinched. How the Great Recession has narrowed our future and what we can do about it, he says. Economic conditions are limiting opportunities for millions of Americans. He says the generation of young Americans, known as the Millennials, those now graduating from high school and college, are especially affected. 好，我们现在看一下这边的几个单字跟片语。第一个单字是 editor. Editor 这边指的是呃编辑或者是专专栏的主笔。在第二个 Millennial. Millennial 指的是 Y 世代或者是千禧世代。那这个 Millennial 是一个美国的一个世代的名称哦。那它基本上就是指在一九七八年到呃两千零一年之间出生的一一群人。那我们都知道那个千禧年是 Millennium M I double L E double N。I U M， 那就是指一千年的意思。那这个 Millennium 指的就是这个时代出生的人。再来，我们看第三个单字 ，affect。affect 指的是影响。Although Allison lived with her grandmother for just a couple of years, she was deeply affected by her grandmother's beliefs. 他说，虽然这个 Allison 只有跟他的这个 grandmother 祖母或者是外婆呢，只有住呃大概两年的时间，但是他呃。被他的这个祖母的这些，或者是外婆的这些信仰呢，或者是认可呢，很深深的影响的。所以这个是这边的单字。好，接下来我们看一下这段的内容。他说呢，这个 Don Peck， 这个 Don Peck 是一个 writer and editor at the Atlantic Magazine。所以他说这个呃 Don Peck 是一个这个大西洋杂志的这个作家跟编辑。在他的这个新书里面呢 ，Pinched。How the Great Recession has narrowed our futures, and what we can do about it. 在他这本书里面，那这个 pinch， 这个 pinch 这个字呢，其实就是捏跟压缩的意思。所以他的意思说，因为这个呃，就是金融海啸的关系，所以呢，让我们的未来跟我们可以做的事情越来越少。所以他就用 pinch 这个字。他说呢，这个经济的这个 conditions are limiting opportunities for millions of Americans. 他说，经济的条件呢，限制了数以百万计美国人的机会。他说 ，He says the generation of young Americans known as millennials, those now graduating from high school and college, are especially affected. 尤其是那些正在从高中或者是大学毕业的 Y 世代、千禧世代的美国年轻人，特别受到影响。这是第四段的内容。
。好，接下来我们看一下第五段的内容，也是一样，请我们请 Chris 帮我们念一下第五段的内容。Twenty-two-year-old Jessie Way finished college in less than four years and with honors. She graduated from George Mason University in Virginia with a degree in technical writing in January. After that, she spent three months helping her mother who got sick. Then she spent five months searching for a job. Jessie was lucky. She recently landed a position as a legal assistant with a law firm. 好，我们看一下这边的几个单词跟片语。第一个单词是 honors。这个 honors 通常我们等下会看到是 with honors， 就是说他毕业的时候是以优异的成绩毕业的。再第二个单词 degree。degree 这边是学位的意思。After graduating from high school, Linda plans to earn a degree online while she is working. 所以呢，基本上在离开高中之后呢 ，Linda 她计划呢，她要做一个线上的这种学习，然后达到拿学呃拿拿到一个 degree， 要拿到一个学位。当她在工作，就是她当来工作的时候，她可以一边念书的意思。再来往下看第三个 ，land，land land, 这边是指得到或者是捞到什么东西。Diane doesn't have any work experience at all. But she landed a good job in Taipei last month. So this land a good job 就是得到了一个好的工作。那这个 work experience 就是指工作经验。那同学有时候在你们的那个 interview 上面也会看到这个 work work experience 就是指工作经验的意思。再来往下看 legal legal 形容词是当合法的。那这边可以用法律的 firm firm 这边指的是公司或者是事务所的意思。好，接下来我们看一下这个第五段的内容。他说呢，这个二十二岁的这个 Jesse 这个人呢，他 finished college in less than four years。他在四年以内呢，完成了他的大学学历，而且他是以优异的成绩毕业的 ，with honors。他从这个 George Mason University 啊、呃，在那个 Virginia 这边毕业的，而且他的学位是 with a degree in。所以我们说学位，如果他学位后面是他学的专长的东西呢，用 in 这个介系词，所以 a degree in technical writing in January， 他在这个一月的时候从这间大学得到了一个这个呃技术撰稿、技技技术撰写的这个学位。After that, she spent three months helping her mother who got sick. 那之后呢，他花了、嗯、他花了三个月的时间呢，照顾他生病的母亲。接下来呢，他花了五个月呢 ，searching for 找这个工作。那他非常的幸运哈，基本上他最近刚好得到一个 position， landed a position。他得到一个 position， 他这个 position 是一个 legal assistant， 是一个法律的助理。那这个法律的助理是在一家 law firm， 就是在一家法律或者是呢律师的事务所。所以这是第五段的内容。好，接下来我们先休息一下，等一下回来之后呢，我们再看一下下面的内容。好，接下来我们看第六段的内容。那我们也是让我们请 Chris 先帮我们念一下。Jesse Way said, "The problem I found myself having was it's what everyone complains about. There are jobs that want experience, but nobody wants to give you experience." The demand for experience is not a new problem for young people, of course, but Jesse Way thinks the situation today is more difficult than it was for graduates ten years ago. 来，我们看一下这边的单词。Complain. Complain 就是抱怨的意思。The diner was complaining to the manager about the waiter's bad attitude. 所以呢，他说这个 a diner 指的就是在用餐的人呢 ，was complained to， 对谁抱怨？对这个餐厅的经理抱怨，就是抱怨这个呃 waiter 的这个不好的态度。好，接下来我们看一下这段的内容。所以 Jesse Way 他就说呢，呃，他发现他自己个人的问题是说，每个职位都要求要有工作经验。The problem I found myself having was it is what everyone complains about. Uh, there are jobs that want experience, but nobody wants to give you experience. So he said he found his own problem is that every job requires to have work experience, but no one wants to give you experience. That this is also a problem that every person is complaining about. So what everyone complains about? So he complains about something to someone. Next, he said, "Of course, this is 
呃，年轻人被要求要有工作经验，并不是一个新的问题，所以他是这样讲。但是呢，他说他表示说，今天的这个情况呢，比起十年前的毕业生更加的艰难。这个 graduate 这边是指毕业生的意思，所以他表示说，这个情况，现今的这个情况，比十年前的毕业生来讲更 more difficult。所以他说更加的困难跟艰难。好，接下来我们看一下第七段的内容。你现在我们请 Chris 来帮我们念一下第七段的内容。Thirty-nine-year-old Norm Elrod of Queens, New York, has been laid off from jobs four times in the past ten years. The last job he lost was 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 with an online marketing agency. He left in 2008. After that, he says he set out to find a way to make himself a better job candidate. He used online resources to create a website and teach himself new skills in the process. 好，我们看一下这边的几个单字跟片语。我们看一下第一个单字是 lay off。这个 lay off 是指被解雇、解雇的意思。Because of following orders, the company has to has been forced to lay off a thousand workers. 所以 because of following orders， 这个是因为下降的这个或者是变少的这个 orders 订单。所以这个公司呢被迫。Has been forced to lay off. 必须要去解雇一千名的员工。在第二个 ，agency. Agency 这边有指的是经销处，或者是有时候我们把它当成是公司的意思。再我们看一下第三个 ，set out. Set out 指的是开始。Alan set out to sail alone around the world. 所以他说 ，Alan 开始呢要去啊、uh, 在全世界做个人的航行。再我们看一下最后一个。In the process. In the process, is 在什么什么的过程中 It has been two hours, but my sister is still in the process of baking a cake. 他说呢，现在已经过了两个小时，但是他的呃姐姐或者是妹妹呢，仍旧是呃仍旧还在这个烤蛋糕的过程中，所以就还没有完成的意思。好，这个是这边的单字跟片语的部分。好，接下来我们看一下这边的内容的部分。他说呢，这个呃 thirty nine year old 那个 Nord 呃 El 呃 Elrod。Of Queens, New York. He said, "This 39-year-old man, this man, he lives in the Bronx. He said he has been laid off about four times in the past ten years. He said he has been laid off about four times in the past ten years. He said he has been laid off about four times in the past ten years. He said he has been laid off about four times in the past ten years. He said he has been laid off about four times in the past ten years. He said he has been laid off about four times in the past ten years. He said he has been laid off about four times in the past ten years. He said he has been laid off about four times in the past ten years. He said he has been Online marketing agency. His 上一份工作是一个线线上行销处的一个工作。他说 ，He left in 2008. 他在两千零八年的时候离开，就是说，呃，他离开那份工作。After that, 在之后呢 ，He says he sent out to. 所以他开始去 find a way to make himself a better job candidate. 这个 job candidate 指的就是指求职求职者或者是求职面试的人，所以他说，在他之后呢，他开始去找到一个方式一个方法，去让他自己变成更好的应征者。他说呢 ，He used online resources to create a website. And teach himself new skills in the process. So he, in this process, he used some online resources to build a website. And he also taught himself some new skills. So this is the sixth chapter. Okay, let's look at the seventh chapter. We also have Chris to help us read the seventh chapter. Chris, can you read the seventh chapter? Norm Elrod said, "That's how my website came about. I built it, ran it, and essentially trained my..." Trained myself, or retrained myself, taught myself new skills that allowed me to get the job I have now. Norm Elrod created a blog called Jobless and Less, the blog for the employmentally challenged. Norm said, "You send your resume out, and it goes into a void, and one person will get in touch with you for every 100 or 200 resumes you send out, and it's not because you're not qualified." It's because they get so many, and oftentimes they're looking for just a certain thing, and there's no way to know what that is. His advice to people looking for a job is to learn new skills and meet new people. 好，接下来我们看一下这边的几个单字跟片语。第一个是 come about。这个 come about 指的是发生的意思。Do you know how the car accident came about? 啊，你知道这个呃车祸呢是怎么发生的吗？在第二个单词 ，essentially，essentially 是一个副词，呃，实质上，本来的 
face-to-face -face interaction is essentially important for salespeople to convince their customers. 所以他说，面对面的互动呢，对这个业务员来说呢，是一个很实质上、很基本的一个重要的那个要素，去说说服 convince their customers， 去说服他的那个客人跟客户。再我们往下看 ，void。这个 void 指的是名词，就是徒劳无功或者是呃消失无踪的意思。再往下看下面一个 in touch with in touch with 指的是与什么什么人保持联络，了保持联系。所以 when friend 啊、呃、这边是指 when friends move away, it's hard to keep in touch with them。所以他说当朋友搬远离的时候，就是说搬家离开你的住的范围的时候 ，it's hard to 很难去 keep in touch with， 就是呢很难跟维持联系，跟他们维持联系。所以这个 in touch with 我们可以说 keep in touch with， 或者是有时候我们可以说 get in touch with， 或者是 be in touch with 都可以。好，接下来我们看一下这段的内容。所以这个 norm 它就表示说，呃，这是它的这个网站 came about 产生。发生了一个很大的因素，那他可能就是被解雇，他必须要想办法让他自己变得更好的 job candidate。所以他说，他建立的这个网站 ，run it， 经营这个网站，而且 essentially， 基本上实质上，他训练自己，甚至是我们可以说他重新训练他自己，而且他教自己许多新的技能。That 这个新的技能是 allow me to get the job I have now。他因因为有这些新的技能，所以呢，允许让他自己可以得到他现在的这份工作。这个 Norm 就 created a blog called Jobless and Less, the blog for the unemploymentally challenged。所以他说他呃建立一个这个布洛格，那这个布洛格的名称就是我们刚刚讲这个名称。那在 Norm 他就说呢 ，You send your resume out and it goes into a void。And one person will get in touch with you for every 100 to 200 resumes you send out. 他说呢，你把你的这个履历表寄出去，那你的履历表呢 goes into a void， 就是说，他这个履历表就这样消失无踪了，无影无踪，都不知道这个履历表到底到哪里去了。他就说呢 ，and one person will get in touch with you for every 100 to 200 resumes you send out. 只有一个人会跟你联络，而且呢是在你寄出去的这一百到两百份的这个履历表里面，你只会收到可能只有一通电话，请你去面试。And it's not because you are not qualified. 那这个原因并不是你是。不够资格 ，you are not qualified， 就是你不够资格，而是 it's because lay 这个 lay 指的就是那些雇主，就是那些要雇佣的公司，因为呢，这些公司就是要这些雇主呢 ，they get so many， 他们有很多很多的这些履历表 ，and often times 常常或者是往往 ，they are looking for just a certain thing and there's no way to know what。That is， 所以他说常常呢，他们只是要去呃寻找某一种特定的人才或者是技能，但是呢，没有我们没有办法去知道说，哎、欸，原来他们那个要求是什么东西。那所以呢 ，His advice to people looking for a job is to learn new skills and meet new people。所以他说他唯一能建立呃建议的就是说，呃，求职者就是说，你可以学习新的技能。还要去结交一些新的朋友，所以呢，这是这段的内容的部分。好，因为我们时间的关系，没有办法把这个全部的内容都讲完。那我在这边呢，把第九段跟第十段的内容稍微用中文呃简单的讲解一下。他的意思就是说，基本上呢，这个长期的失业呢，将带领就是这些呃经历过这些过程的劳工呢，有非常深远的影响哈。而且这个深远的影响不是只有他们自己而已，他还有其他的方面哈，比如说。呃，在家庭啊、社区中都会有比较严重的影响，甚至是伤疤这样子。那他们呃，这个 d o w n p a c k 他就建议说，政府呢短期应该要投资一些公共工程，来增加这个呃制造业跟建筑业的就业机会。那长期呢，应该要。培养跟建立新的技能，然后创造更多的管道给那个中中产阶级里面那些可能无法上大学的高中生。所以这个是最后两段的一个大概内容。这样，那我们今天就讲解到这个地方，谢谢大家的收看，我们下次再会。